Linda Snuff, and this is Issues in Focus. What a week it has been, from Tiger Woods to Afghanistan to the economy to the Senate debating the health care reform bill, all of that in just about 10 days or less. And of course, the social becomes the political as everyone is talking about Tiger. But as I think of Tiger, I say what touches Tiger shall be last served. Is that right or wrong? You know, is Tiger about putting bread on the table? Not really. Is Tiger the first person who has been accused of infidelity? Not really. There was a governor somewhere, a senator somewhere, a former president somewhere. They all moved on and started new lives. So I'm saying, sure, I don't condone the behavior of Tiger, but after all, he's not the first one, right? So my question is, I hear it's now up to number 11. 11 women have come forth to say they have slept with Tiger. Tiger made a great mistake. He has been outfoxed by the vixens, yes. Tiger has been outfoxed by the vixens. So is there anybody in this country who has not slept with Tiger? Anybody in Rome who has not slept with Tiger? Tiger? All I can say, I hope there are no mini tigers out there, as Star Jones said. No mini tigers anywhere. And uh, surely, Tiger, you have learned a great lesson. And I hope you will realize, if you didn't look at me, I wouldn't say a word. I would have kept quiet, but hey, these things happen. And now we'll move on from Tiger to things that are more important, the economy. This week, the reports were that there were 11,000 people who lost their jobs as compared to the previous years, yes. Encouraging news, but after all, for the 16 million who are out of work, that's not much to cheer about. This is 15 days from Christmas. Most of us want to have some beer, but it's not going to happen because, hey, what's in our hands? Not much money, and all of us know what money means at Christmas time, and just through it here. Jobs are still few and far between. So yes, the president had a summit. The president brought forth a cross section of people to the White House and they talked jobs about how they can stimulate the economy. Congress is thinking of a jobs bill. I don't know what would happen. All I'm saying to the president, a hungry man, when people have no money, they don't eat as well. They don't go to the theater. They don't do a lot of things. A hungry man is an angry man. Could it be that if he doesn't fix this, and I know he inherited most of this, so I'm not putting it all there, but yes, he has inherited it, and now it's his. So President Obama, this is delivery time. I know you're trying your best to fix this economy, and somehow, whether it's through top funds, job retraining programs, tax cuts for small business people, work for average Joes and Johns and Marys like myself, they need to work. I say the issue is now, it's back to, it's the economy, stupid. No two ways about it. We got to do it and we got to do it now. That said, healthcare still out there. The blue dogs are still doing what they usually do. Not working with the Democrats to get us a bill. The rumor is that they have come to some decision and uh, Chairman um, uh, uh, from Nevada has said that there's a, a chance that, you know, last week, you know, they were in the, the House, the Senate on Saturday night working out something. And of course, the Chairman of the Senate, Mr. Reid, has come forward to say there's a decision that something is going to happen, but nothing with a public option. So if you're a fan of head shows as I am, I'm sure you've had, had you know, here head shows. Uh, on MSNB saying this is not what progressives voted for, this is not what progressives expect, and the president might just see the results of all of this and those blue dogs who, you know, believe that their call is about them and not about us, the voters, because in the most recent polls, most Americans still want to see some competition to pharma and the other insurance companies. That said, as I said, the health care bill is still out there. I understand that there's going to be something about a Medicare buy-in for people from 55 and down, 
But what happens to the other folks? I don't know. But as I said, health care reform is still under a cloud. The Ben Nelsons are still out there blocking. And of course, the GOP, they will never give in. But this is Christmas time. Who is going to be the Scrooge when we talk health care reform? So I do hope the president will have a bill on his desk by December. That's being hopeful. Now let's go to Afghanistan. Quickly, the president followed up with McChrystal uh, in his request for more troops for Afghanistan. The president, after much deliberation, said he would send in 30,000. And again, his liberal and progressive supporters are saying, are you crazy? With this sort of economy, we are going to be putting other billions. I, you know, as I said, I'm neither right, left, or anything. I go with what is common sense, and I think the president is right that he has to put some money and some time, because this is going to cost our domestic agenda some money, into Afghanistan, because we are all concerned about national security. That said, I was pleased to hear him talk about an exit in 2011, July, and people are saying, how can you tell the enemy you know, when you're going to leave, whether you tell them or not at some point, we can't go into Afghanistan and not leave. We have to leave at some point. And I hope, as I said, they said, you know, we have the watch and they have the time fine. But who knows, in the, with the surge, we can just bring them to, you know, minimize them to such a point that they're having the time doesn't really matter. So in Afghanistan, there are some raucous, again, in the liberal wing. The GOP are so supportive of the president, with the exception of George Will. Can you believe that? George Will wants to see us out of Afghanistan. So, surprises. There is, of course, the economy. Jobs are still few and far behind. And, of course, health care is on the hop and up. So, again, we are talking tiger at the end again. Tiger, I hope by this next week, this time, you are out of the headlines. But who knows? With, you know, you have to get up to date with modern technology. Text no one and pay no one a dime. You have given out enough of that money. Save it for yourself. And in the meantime, as I said, this is Issues in Focus. Join the conversation. Leave a comment on my blog, vernasmith.com. Leave a comment on my blog, vernasmith.com. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, leave a comment on this tape. Again, this has been Verna Smith, and this has been Issues in Focus. Let me hear from you on Tiger. How did he slip up and got outfoxed by vixens? On healthcare reform, will we have anything coming before Christmas? Will the president have a bill to sign? On Afghanistan, the president is making the right moves. And of course, healthcare reform, will we see a bill by Christmas? Have a great week. Talk to you soon. I am Bernie Smith. And of course, have a bear on me.